Hey everyone, welcome to day five of my 30 day video challenge. Um, today I will keep it short and sweet because um, I've got to say goodbye to my parents and wave them back to Tassie. Um, they've come over and bring great respite care for my sore little leg, um, but sadly it's goodbye day today. So um, I just wanted to touch base with you to keep up my promise of my 30 day challenge. Um, and I wanted to start today with the quote of today which is from another inspiring, amazing man that I have followed for a long time and think is just inspirational, um, and that would be the one and only Nelson Mandela. Um, and his words are that I never lose, I either win or learn. And I thought it was probably a good thing to start off with a positive today because it's been a little bit doom and gloom. So I have taken you through my journey of having to wave goodbye to one of my very close friends who was originally my, my husband and how that was a very agonising, sad decision but that has turned out happily ever after for both him and I um, and he has gone on to flourish and do a beautiful life for himself. So that has all turned out to be a beautiful, happy ending and I can now look back on that chapter and see that it was a great way to spend seven years of marriage and about 12 years of my life um, and I wouldn't give it back for a second. Um, it's just the heartache that is not the nicest bit. But you know what? We all come out of rough, rickety old rocks um, and it's the challenges in life and the things that kind of wear us down a bit that polish us and make us shiny and beautiful. So I don't begrudge any of that experience for a second. Um, and then to fall into the trap of ending up with an abusive man who um, ruled me by fear and would do things like threaten to kill himself if I left him and he had a gun so it was a serious threat um, or threaten violence against me or emotionally control me with the things that I was allowed to do, wasn't allowed to do, um, all of those things. I can look back and go gosh that hurt me and gosh that betrayed me and that ruined my self-confidence and how could he treat me like that and you know how could somebody be so mean when all I was trying to do was love them but you know what I can now look at that and say he was loving me with the best tools that he knew how and as much as those tools were warped because he saw me as a possession rather than a person um, and he controlled me like a possession rather than um, you know a treasure um, it was just he was doing the best with the tools that he had uh, and it was up to me to find the strength to walk away when that wasn't doing me so good. So I stuck that out for a long time because of fear but I also wanted to mention that I also stuck it out because I did think that I would be able to rescue him and save him. He had a, a traumatic childhood himself so he was really only playing out what he'd learnt. So I really thought that I could fix him um, and I think sometimes maybe you can help people and but he wasn't ready to be fixed and I wasn't the person to fix him because it was breaking me too much so I had to get to that point where I could walk away without feeling like I'd given up on him but also could walk away with my life um, and yeah that's something that I'm glad that I have been able to do and I'm truly blessed to still be able to be here and tell you that story. Um, so all of those things looking back I can turn them into wins. Um, when I had to take my dearest Nettie to the vets on the final day of his life and ask somebody to end his suffering for him and I had to sit there with his beautiful little furry body in my arms and feel the life leave him. That was the darkest day of my entire life and it felt horrible but I had to end Nettie's suffering and if that meant that mine deepened then that's what I needed to do because if you love somebody sometimes you do have to set them free and Nettie had been there for me in the darkest, nastiest patch of my life, I thought, um, and got me out of a rut and for that I am truly grateful for and I feel like he fulfilled his little doggy life's purpose um, and I'll be forever blessed to have had Nettie in my life and he made it richer and worthwhile and kept me on this planet so um, I could never have wished Nettie away but um, you know, love was never easy and I would never not love something as deeply as I love Nettie just for the fear of potentially losing it one day because every day is a gift and it was a beautiful thing to have him for as long as I did. So um, as much as I would still love to have a life with Nettie in it, um, I just feel like it, you don't have to be a Mary Poppins hat on person like I am sometimes 
to be able to see the wins. It's just sometimes the distance that you need to be able to look back on it and go, and go you know what, that led to this, this led to that, or, you know, I learnt this lesson from that person. And um, if any of you are in a state of grieving at the moment, um, suffering, or and this all just sounds like Candy Lane, um, or irrelevant, I totally understand because sometimes we're just in the most darkest place that you cannot comprehend being able to come out of it, but you will. Um, so much is survivable and I am not, um, what's the word, like I'm not saying that people were meant to die or that we had to lose something or what I'm saying is that in retrospect it's beautiful to give it give that loss give that hurt give that pain some purpose and if we can do that then it's not all sadness and sorrow um, and that is my philosophy these days is to just go that was a huge ouch but what can I learn from it what can I take from it because otherwise it's just a wasted experience so I got a backbone from my experience living with in my abusive relationship I got some self-confidence some self-respect um, and I realized that I could live with my own company and I could do um, everything on my own if I had to and I needed that independence and I needed that space to work out who Kate was because she hadn't really had a chance to get to know herself until then um, and I didn't need to lose Nettie but in losing Nettie um, I'm now able to look back and go and focus on rather than why did he have to die focus on the fact that he lived to make my life um, feel like it had purpose and feel like I could get up each day um, and my marriage had to end because it wasn't going to be the beautiful gift that keeps on giving for the rest of our lives, but it was amazing for the time that we had it. Uh, so yes, my next chapter is the beginning of my health deteriorating, and that is again something that I would really like to emphasise um, in terms of if you think that you are coping with stress or that you are surviving stress, um, I really love to emphasise the importance of taking care of yourself if it's not something you can remove yourself out of a situation quickly. Um, you know, I thought I was being stoic and strong by pushing through and saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, and trying to go about my life as if nothing much was really going on. Um, and I was eating healthily, and I was a very healthy person, and I still am, but um, I think I just wore my, a lot of my stress on the inside, and that was not healthy. You can find outlets like yoga, like meditation, like um, a healthy counsellor, a kinesiologist. I have got an amazing kinesiologist and I would recommend them to everybody to have one of those in your life. Um, those sorts of things are essential, especially if you are in a um, yeah, time of heavy stress to take care of your body because you feel like you're a fighter and you're being strong and I like totally commend you for that. But for me, my health kept like caught up with me in the end and it's not a fun journey to go on but like I said I can still look back on it and go I'm going to pull some tools out of that um but please just take care of yourself and don't think that oh I'm getting through this so I must be okay please give yourself some self-love nurture yourself with great nutrition and try and find yourself a great support network and these are the sorts of things that I'll be covering after I've kind of gone through a little bit more of my story with you and the health struggles that I have had um, I just yeah, really wanted to emphasise today that nothing is ever a loss. You either win or you learn. So um, take that with you today. Have a beautiful rest of your day, sunshines. And please share this with anybody that you think it may help. Tag people in it and just get it out into the world because it can't do any harm. Um, yeah, have a fantastic day. Sunshine and happiness from Kate till tomorrow. Bye.